88.1 XFM Tauranga's at Music Station, also another sponsored episode of Mike Time with Marty, sponsored by Mike Time with Marty, now available on iTunes, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. I have a good friend of mine who you may recognize from my numerous TikTok lives and also maybe a couple of TikTok videos. So say hello to the one, the only, the bouncy, the boisterous, Mama Fluffy. Hey, hello. Hi. Now, um, so we met on TikTok. How did you get started doing that? Mental health, I think. Um, also boredom. Not going to lie, boredom. So I started TikTok when I was pregnant and too fat to move. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For real. Like, like all my pregnant mamas will feel me on that. Um, and I had like nothing to do. Um, obviously, I was working full time, but I had pregnancy insomnia. So I started TikTok and then I carried that on um and then obviously you know they had a falling out with his dad and I moved houses so I had to give it up for a little bit but mum is back and we're better than ever so yeah that is awesome <laughs> uh what do you think has been one thing that you have kind of learned from TikTok like has there been a certain video that's spoken to you or someone saying the smallest things of like I'm proud of you or something like that no, I think my biggest lesson, because I think if you follow my platform and you've been following me for a while, you know I'm very open about my anger issues. I think the one thing TikTok has kind of taught me is how to not react to people. Mm. So I, I I used to get very angry very fast, and now it's just like, yeah, I'll troll you back for a little bit, or otherwise I'll just mute and block you, you know? Mm. It taught me res resilience. Mm. Mm. That, that's what it taught me it, there hasn't really been like a video that's spoken out to me as such or like a single person that's spoken out to me you know it, it's more so taught me how to be the person I am today with all my patience and stuff mm. used to be patient mm. okay um <laughs> yeah I used to be patient not anymore have kids if you don't want patience <laughs> So for anyone that is wondering, um, if you are watching this on YouTube or listening to this on Spotify or any other platform, me and Mama Fluffy, or should I say Lampshade, um, have got a very, <laughs> the rolling the eyes, um, it, we have a very, not a love-hate relationship, but we like to banter and we like to bring out the worst in each other. So since we're doing that, I'm going to play the first game. Are you ready? I am so ready. Let's go. All right. On a scale of one to ten, how would you rate your quip thinking? Ten. Ten. Cool. Uh, we mm -hmm. all know that's a lie, but anywho, let's. So I'm your just whole gonna. Your is a lie. What do you mean? Oh, hell. anyway. Um. So I'm gonna ask you some quick fire questions, and you're just gonna answer them as quickly as you possibly can. Okay. All right. Coke or Sprite. Coke. All right. Sunset or sunrise. Sunset. Sweet or sour? Sour. All right. Are you a night person or a day person? Night person. All right. Favorite movie? Favorite what? Movie. Chucky. Cool. Uh, if you could meet one celebrity in the world that is not Jensen Ackles, who would it be? <laughs> Alistair Black. Sweet. Love that. Uh, favorite color? Black. All right, cool. Uh, if you could travel to one country in the world, where would you go? Japan. Japan, cool. Fucking internet, man. I've paid my mm -hmm. internet bill, goddamn. Um, okay, uh, if you could control TikTok for one day, what would you do? I would get rid of all the trolls mm -hmm. and unban the people who aren't, who aren't meant to be banned. Mm-hmm. All right, fair enough. Mm. Uh, let's see. What would be your last meal? Like, if you knew that you were going to, basically, to be bluntly honest, be dead, um, what would be your last meal? And you cannot say your husband or the ox. Well, I was going to say my wife, actually, but... Um... Love you, Misty. <laughs> <laughs> um... Honestly, it would probably be a fettuccine from a authentic, authentic Italian restaurant. Mm, love that. Um, mm. 
what is one food that you will never eat? Pickles. <laughs> I know what I'm getting <laughs> you for Christmas. Um, <laughs> uh, what is one TV show you've been binging? Supernatural. Supernatural. Cool. Uh, thoughts on SummerSlam, WWE? Haven't watched it yet. No spoilers. All right. Cool. Uh, and final question. Where do you see yourself in five years? In Australia. Possibly rich. The way I'm going. Mm, cool. Can I have a loan? Um, no. No. Oh, fuck. Um, okay. Give my land back first and then you can have a loan. Oh, I already showed it to you. For anyone that is wondering, uh, me and uh, literally as soon as I jumped into one of my motherfuckers' lives, um, obviously I am Caucasian, so um, we have this outgoing joke of I stole her land and she stole my man. So you know, banter. Mm -hmm. But anywho. Mama Fluffy, I am going to uh let you have your chance of redemption. You get to ask me some quick fire questions and you can be as difficult as you want. Really? I'm scared now. <laughs> okay. Well, we're gonna start basic first. Favorite colour? Red. Favorite musical instrument. Guitar. Favorite cartoon character? Uh, uh, it is either Stewie Griffin, SpongeBob, or I used to have this massive crush on Danny Phantom. I've seen that. <laughs> okay, if you could be a part of any universe in the Marvel world, which universe would you be? Whose universe would you be a part of? Deadpool. Yeah, my thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen Marvel. the new Deadpool? Seeing it on Tuesday. No spoilers. I've seen it. Haha. Uh -huh. um... <laughs> and I've seen SummerSlam, so shut up. Um... <laughs> yeah, but SummerSlam isn't like homeless. Um. Okay. Favorite shoe brand. Favorite shoe brand. Um. I'm not really big on shoes. It's mainly just ones that make me feel comfortable. Uh, I do like to wear steel caps a lot. So, Doc Martens. <laughs> Doc Martens. That's a bit hypocritical, but that's okay. And last question. If you could choose your horoscope, what would you be? Um, can we put that into white boy terms? What the fuck is a horoscope? You are so uneducated. Okay, star just... sign. If you could, if you could choose your star sign, what would you be? Ah, well, I am currently a Sagittarius, but I think I would like to see how I go with being like a Leo or a Libra. Can I? Can I? Can I kind of point you in the direction that I would put you as? No, no, sure. A cancer because you cry at everything. I mean, you've never seen me cry, so we're just gonna. But I've heard you cry. Well, and uh... but it's lies. That's lies. Okay, trying to keep my language family friendly. That's a lie. I have seen you cry. You you rang me that night that you were having difficulties. Oh yeah. Wait, thou shall not tell lies in my house. Well, fuck. Um, <laughs> okay, so going on about the whole TikTok thing, like, what has your For You page been looking like? Because everyone's is different. Mine has been currently Celine Dion coming back with the Olympics and um, people trying to spoil the new Deadpool and Wolverine movie. What's, your, what's the For You page looking for Mama Fluffy? So since I, since Hubby and I went to watch Deadpool that night, both of our FYPs synced up, and it's just been nonstop Deadpool and Wolverine, especially um Channing Tatum. I'm not gonna go into detail with that, but especially Channing Tatum. 
which I'm not even mad about, and I don't even like Channing Tatum. So if Mum Fluffy ain't mad about it, obviously it's decent. Fair enough. I guess I'm the look. And if it's not that, it's been Art the Clown from Terrifier. Hmm. Yeah, and a lot of food. Mm hmm. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, what has been kind of like a milestone? with you being on TikTok, because you are part of the group with Brother Co Papa, who's a good friend of ours. Uh, mm -hmm. What has been, like, mm -hmm. a milestone? Mine. Good friend of mine. Um, <laughs> honestly, my biggest milestone for me is being unbanned for as long as I have been. And when I did get banned, getting my appeal... Um, getting my thing appealed mm. like straight away that never happens with me ever mm. I think that's a big milestone because when I was going live consistently I used to get banned basically every second day because I had a rainbow flag in the background mm -hmm. yeah that's probably my biggest milestone apart from that I'm just doing things that I've been doing for a while mm. fair enough um so moving alongside TikTok, you have mentioned that you are a devoted mother. Uh, what advice would you give to young mothers or young fathers that are just starting to sprout out the crotch goblins? Um, don't. If you're thinking about it, don't. Okay. Um, I got blessed with an angel of a child, not going to lie. I'm not to my own horn, but a lot of people on TikTok and in my personal life can tell you that he is an angel. Um, if you're, I think my biggest advice is don't stay in your relationship for your child because you can't be, the, you can't affect, like you can't effectively parent to the best of your ability if you're not happy. Mm. So as hard as leaving is, you've got to put, yourself first and then your child which also touches on mental health as well you can't parent to the best of your ability if you're not looking after yourself especially our young men mm -hmm. right I know women go through a lot but our men go through a lot too and they go through I feel a tad more than women mm. so if you think you've got postpartum depression men can get it too go get checked please mm -hmm. please do um, so talking about the thing of mental health, how have, like, what some things that you do to cope with it? Because of course you are a very, like, you like your dark humor, you like, um, joking around like about your dad and stuff like that. Like, is that the only way, <laughs> is that the only way oh, that you, you might... Humor is the way that I deal with my trauma, but if it's really hard for me to deal with, I make an appointment with my tattoo artist, honestly. Mm -hmm. yeah. That that is my outlet. I am an ex um an ex I am an attempt survivor and an ex SHR, so a self harmer. Um I haven't done that for years now. I'm good, Fano, promise. I'm really good. Um, but tattoos were my outlet. Piercings first. And then I delved into the tattoo realm and that was my therapy. So if I'm having a hard day, I just go and say to my artist, hey, do you have a spot available? I need to come get therapy. <laughs> what What's your thoughts? But also like counselling as well. So, yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, what's your thoughts on people saying that tattoos are another form of SA? Because... I've had a lot of people saying, like, are you doing mentally okay? Because you've got a lot of tattoos and a lot of piercings. See, I disagree with that. Tattoos are a way to express art. I understand the logistic behind it, but it's not something that I would class as SH personally. I would class it as a form of showing artwork because hmm. that's what tattooing is, artwork. Fair enough. All right, Mama Fluffy, are you ready for the next game? Ooh, is it is it find my dad? <laughs> is it where's Wally? Um, <laughs> no, sadly. Um, <laughs> so I am going to give you my talk show for the next, let's say, two to three minutes, 
and you can ask me anything you want, anything that your tiny little heart desires. But I don't have any desire to ask you anything. Right, moving on. Um, <laughs> I really don't think about our friendship. We're so open with each other. There's nothing I need to know about you. Okay, fair enough then. Um... Apart from the demon that's standing in your corner. Anyway. Hi, Dan. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Love you, Dan. I know you watch these. Anywho, um, have you by any chance looked at the Mike Time with Marty talk show by any chance? No. Right. Okay. Moving on. Okay. Uh, I've never gotten around to it, but Martin is always on the phone with me. So, you know, get my own mic time with Marty. That, that that is true it's just i don't get paid for both of them um what advice would you give to me so someone that has been doing social media for god knows how long and someone that is slowly starting to get his big break roll with it roll with it but also don't let anyone dim your shine you know, you're so and stop stop pony hopping. Honestly. Focus, focus. Focus on yourself. Okay, that's the biggest thing. Focus on yourself. Mm. Okay, you don't need a man. You don't need a man to succeed. You've done you've come this far on your own. You can continue your journey on your own. Don't don't give me that look. You can continue it on your own, you know? <laughs> When the trolls come in, you just smile and wave, you know. Or if mum is in there, you know. I got it. Um, okay, cool. Um, so what has, what's been like a struggle? Like, because of course, like you, we have all had to deal with like the pandemic, with recent politics and everything else like what has been a massive struggle that you've been able to overcome with everything that is going on my baby daddy mm. 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 <laughs> my baby daddy that's been the biggest obstacle for both me and my partner to overcome and we're overcoming it every day um we've definitely gotten better yeah. Um, we don't really bite back anymore. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that so I co I worked all through COVID. I worked through the pandemic. I've worked through everything, and I was completely fine. Plus, I was security during the pandemic, and that was great for the anger issues. Um, but yeah, my baby daddy, that's the biggest obstacle that I've had to overcome. Yeah. <laughs> um. So just for anyone watching, uh, before I started hitting record, Mama Fluffy said that uh, anything is on the charts. So if you do have food poisoning, do not be afraid to cook for someone else. <laughs> for anyone that well, has his watched... latest excuse, Fano, we have discovered that we do, in fact, breathe through our ankles, okay? <laughs> We that is a newly discovered thing that we that my uh, hubby and I discovered today that we do in fact breathe through. <laughs> so does that mean I have to message Neil deGrasse Tyson or Doctor Murphy or something just go, hey, I have a slight question. Do you breathe from your ankles? Yes, yes, oh. you do. You need every every famous celebrity you know, honey. You got to tell them they breathe through their ankles. Right. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Love it. All right. I have one final game for you. Are you ready? All right. So this game I like to call Third Time's the Charm. So I'm going to give you a topic like chocolate, uh, six positions. I don't know. We we have some weird guys on the show. Um, Love you. Uh, And you just got to name three of them. I've just got a what? You just have to name three of them. Oh, okay. Sweet. Cool. I All like right. this game. Cool. Uh, supermarkets. Pack and save New World Woolworths. All right, cool. Um, what, da, 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 three colours you would never normally think of. 
crimson teal chartreuse. It's a big word. Okay. Um. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, if you could have dinner with three famous celebrities, dead or alive, who would those three be? Chester Bennington, Jensen Ackles, and Haley Williams. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh, let's see. If you could change three things about the world currently. World peace, mm -hmm. world hunger, mm -hmm. homelessness. Love that. All right. Uh, if you could pick three things to be completely discontinued from the world, so like it could be a food item, it could be a piece of clothing, it could be a person. Um, the Kardashians. Uh, turtlenecks and pickles. I'm really sad about one of those. Um, <laughs> when did I ask? Anyway. Um. Okay. Uh, three movies that you want them to make like a sequel. Ooh. Um, Legion. Carry on. Legion. Yep. I would love to see a sequel to that. Um, Constantine. I think that would be interesting. And I've always wanted to watch it too. Yes. We would love to see yes. that. We would okay. love that. Uh, what are three quotes or three funny lines or something that you go by every day? Stop being a bitch. You're a motherfucking gangster. Okay. Um, let them talk. As long as you know your truth. You will be fine. And um, you cannot sell children on the black market. My child has been testing my gentle parenting lately. He has not been gentle childing. Uh, there's been a few instances where my gangster has wanted to meet him. But don't worry, Fano, I am a gentle parent. We do not condone child abuse. Um, yes, that is that is what I remind myself every day. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Final one. If you could rename TikTok, what would those three names be? <laughs> Place of pettiness, mm -hmm. wrongful banishment, mm -hmm. only fans. Because why? No, tell me why. TikTok bans people like me and you mm. when we haven't done anything, but Half clothed woman and men are allowed to be on there. Tell me why. I don't know. <laughs> like, even if I remotely show an elbow, I get banned. So, exactly. I got banned for a flag. Yeah. I've been banned for making iced coffee. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And I was in a t shirt and pants. Exactly. All right. Some for your chance for redemption. You get to ask me some topics. I go and name three of them. Okay. Um, three horror characters. Uh, Chucky, Pennywise, and Slenderman. Three drag queens. Bianca Del Rio, Ketamine, and Spanky Jackson. Three gay pop icons. Troy Sivan, Adam Lambert, and Freddie Mercury. Well done. Okay. Um, if you could sit down with three political figures, who would they be? Um, Dead or alive. Okay. Uh, Abraham yeah, Lincoln, because mm -hmm. we've 
somehow we're actually related. So yeah, Abe mm-hmm. Lincoln, uh, my good friend Jacinda Ardern, so I can catch up with yes. her and see how the kids are doing. Love Auntie Cindy. Yes, we love Auntie Cindy. Uh, and I would love to have a conversation with the Queen. Fair. Yeah, I don't know why. Fair. Okay, um, three bits of clothing that you would discontinue if you had the chance? Uh, anything with glitter. <laughs> so any fucking, yeah, anything with glitter. Um, I fucking, when I used to do drag, I hated wearing Spanx. Oh, fear, they're so uncomfortable. I fucking hated wearing Spanx. Um, mm-hmm. And then fucking ankle socks. I hate ankle socks. I find ankle socks too annoying. They, they roll down all the time. Yeah, that's why I prefer my long socks. I get so, it. You know, I could just pull them up. Okay, three colognes or perfumes that you would recommend to your audience. Gasoline. Um, no. mm-hmm. <laughs> it's weird. I love the smell of gasoline and petrol. I don't know why. <laughs> No, we, we, Fano, please don't go drench yourself in gasoline. Don't listen to him. Yeah, no, please don't. Um, there, uh, anything like vanilla, I love the smell of like mm-hmm. a vanilla birthday cake or something like that. Oh, um, yeah. Um, there was one called Sexy Sea Breeze, and it was like if the ocean meets like a cinnamon stick, and it was oh, so fun. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, uh, Old Spice deodorant. I never smell Old Spice. Oh, it's really good. Really good. But should ask my husband. He's old. Fuck. (laughs) All right, two more. Um, okay. Name me three famous paintings. Uh, the Mona Lisa... Uh, hmm. the the one with the stars, uh, and the Last Supper. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> the three most important. No, I don't. Okay, know. and oh wait, and... wait, 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 hold on. The 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 the, 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 the painting of the Campbell's tomato soup. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Um, and one more. Three celebrities that you are not a fan of. Taylor Swift. Uh, mm-hmm. R.I.P. your channel. Yep. Oh, yep. Probably most of them are Swifties. Anywho. Uh, yeah, so Taylor Swift. Um, I was, for the longest time, not a fan of Carly Rae Jepsen because her song called Me Maybe yeah. was nails down to a board. But she's come out with some new stuff and I'm very... Valid. I mean, I'm not excited about, but yeah. Uh, and Donald Trump. <laughs> Fair. I was waiting for that. Donald Trump. He's, uh, he's... Yeah. Fair he's... enough. Okay, so we have got, let's say, three more minutes, because for some reason Zoom has been giving me a uh, timer. So what, uh, what is something that you can tell people just in general, like, what is a piece of Mama Fluffy advice? It is all right to be a cunt. Mm. It is better to be a cunt than a pushover. Mm. Um, I think one of the things that I tell my wife a lot is it is better to be alone than in a room full of fake people. Mm. Mm. Oh. You need to learn that, Martin. Anyway. Eventually. <laughs> um, okay, so... Eventually. We're getting there. We're getting oh. there, Bano. Oh. My, my, little, my little reinvention of Protégé. Mr. Marty over here, it's, it's going great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. So TikTok, Instagram, where can people find you and let people know what's going on? TikTok, Instagram, uh, Tattooed Sagittarian. I am a Sagittarian. Uh, 
hair and I were tattooed. Easy to remember or just type in the search bar, Mama Fluffy. I will have two little stoner leaves on either side of my name. Um, and Snapchat is just tattered Sedgy. Very easy to remember, Fano. Love that. Okay. Now, I am quickly going to go back to the beginning. Do you not have any questions for your humble mantle? First, we are not going to lie to the viewers and say that you're humble, for starters. Okay. Yep. No, I really, I really don't. I we've talked about a lot, and I feel like there's nothing, nothing really that I need to know about you that I don't already. Like I know how many times you go to the toilet. I know what you, how you sleep. <laughs> okay, then quickly, we're gonna do like a little. A little best friends quiz. I love these. <laughs> okay. Uh, who's my favourite actor? Jim Carrey. All right, cool. What is my favourite Jim Carrey movie? Hmm. See, that's not a question you ask me because I don't like Jim Carrey and I haven't seen many Jim Carrey movies. But I'm going to say The Grinch because that's the only one I remember. Oh, yeah, that, that's one of them. It's a, um, it's Ace Ventura Pet Detective, but yeah. Um, See, not... I've never seen that, Martin. How am I meant to get that? You're supposed to watch it for me. Um, no, I would never watch it for you. My husband, maybe, but he's got to buy me like a whole heap of stuff before I even watch it. <laughs> right. Uh, what is my favourite holiday? Halloween. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Because it's mine. <laughs> yep. Um, okay, I have mentioned this. What was my first job? Stripper. I wish. No. Um, wasn't it... Wasn't it... Um, wasn't radio. Wasn't it a supermarket? No. I honestly can't remember. That's probably one of the days that I wasn't listening to you. Probably. My first job was I was a barista at Starbucks. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. So if I made your coffee back then, I'm sorry, because I'm mostly this person in it because I thought you were a cunt. Um, if you're still alive. Oh, anywho. Uh, let's see. What, what's a country I've always wanted to go to? Australia to get my land back. <laughs> I mean, Australia is, yes, but what's the, like, number one that I really, really, really want to go to? England. No. I can't remember, Martin. Memory Mexico. like a goldfish. You also know this. Mexico. Really? Yeah. You're going to blend in with the sun. I want to go there to try authentic tequila and also I'm part Spanish, so. Oh, you're legitimately part Spanish? Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, Li I'm part Japanese, so. Li <laughs> Hola. Literally, my one of my first languages that I learned as a kid was Spanish. Spanish. Yeah. I used to be fluent. I'm going to have to pick it back up again so we can have a conversation. Hola, mi nombre es Martín. Hola, como estás? <laughs> Muy bien. <laughs> Muy bien. Muy <laughs> bien? Sí. Okay. Um, uh, how long do we have? Two minutes, cool. Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What's... If I wasn't doing the whole social media thing, and I have mentioned this before, if I wasn't doing the whole social media, radio, shit like that, what would I be doing with my fucking life? Stripper. Yeah. No. <laughs> um, you probably have mentioned it, yes. But again, I don't really listen to you. So, um... 
I'm just going to flip the question and say, well, I think you're going to, you would be doing, and I think it would be wallowing in self pity. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm just kidding. I reckon um, you would be traveling the world. Yeah, I, 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 I yeah, I'm traveling, but it was also I wanted to do something around cameras, like photography or film. Cameras. Yeah. Oh, only fans. Yeah, I want to make sure that I get one of those rain suits from Timo, uh, just in case they like squirt and you know, don't want to get all over my nice clothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you we want to be one of those. Yeah, I I Golden want to showers. be like yeah, I want to be like the nerd that has the glasses on going. Can you extend your leg up a bit, please? Oh my god, I can see you doing that too. That is disturbing. <laughs> anyway, fun. I'm coming to a screen near you. <laughs> Mm, hopefully not uh all right anywho guys that has been my interview with the wonderful mama fluffy do you have anything i should like to say before we sadly uh end this call and we'll most likely call a messenger no <laughs> oh hell see you see you later it's time <laughs> to say goodbye <laughs> Alrighty, guys thank you guys so much for listening if you are listening to this on spotify uh, please make sure you guys are following and subscribing to Mama Fluffy. All of her things will be in the description, as well as follow myself, because you're already watching this. What the fuck are you doing? You might as well um, put that fucking hand down. Anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Alrighty, guys. Take it easy. If no one's told you guys today, we are super fucking proud of you. Keep being amazing. Keep showing success. Move your love, your appreciate, and your wanted. And we'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Thank you, Later. That and. Good <laughs>